All right, hello and welcome back. So actually, I went camping this weekend. Um, it wasn't a backpacking trip or anything. It was just a little bit more of a relaxing car camp type trip. Um, but it kind of reminded me, since we were on the idea of like the pouches and bathroom bags and toiletries and all that, I didn't really mention a a camp kit. So I actually have this Maxpedition Fatty that I use as my kind of go-to. If I'm going camping, I'm going to have this. Um, it's got a lot of utility in here and I figured it'd be a pretty cool uh, thing to kind of run through. So like I said, this is a Maxpedition Fatty. Um, it's pretty full, but it's I've used this for a lot of different things. It's been pretty great. So inside, um, it's not a ton of stuff, but it's stuff that I think is, it, it can make or break camp trips. So I like to keep them and make sure that I have everything I need uh, for these certain aspects uh, and some little tips and tricks that I actually have that I'll share with you. So this is the first thing. It's actually just a little pot clamp and I, I'll use it with my pot here so I can grab and hold this pot off the fire without burning myself just makes it really easy to and this can work for really any pot um, I've used it on a diff couple of different pots I've got some stainless steel ones um, the only one I've had issues with is uh, cast iron since it's pretty thick uh, but yeah so that's the first thing I usually just keep it in here you never really know uh, when it'll come in handy so I like that very lightweight um, the next probably notice, easily noticeable is actually my ferro rod. Uh, this one is brand new. The other one that I have um, is similar to this, but a little bit smaller. I left, left that in the Jeep, so I didn't actually have to use this one. Um, but it's just a fair, big ferro rod with uh, some duct tape or Gorilla tape. Uh, and this will last, I mean, a decade of fire making. And I also have uh, a lighter and stuff in my pocket at all times. So this is really just more of a backup. But this is, if I had to choose a single fire starting tool, this would be it. It doesn't matter if it gets wet. It doesn't matter. I mean, as long as I have something to scrape it with, I can make a fire essentially. This thing um, is awesome. And then this one, a lot of people probably don't even know about, but um, it's become quickly one of my favorite little gadgets, I guess, for, for backpacking or camping. It's actually a little pocket bellow. It's, it's literally a collapsible stainless steel straw, but what this does is lets you blow on the fire with very concentrated air. Um, so you can use this and get a little, little ember and make basically make a full camp's fire from it. I, it feels like magic. I don't even know I don't even know. I mean, it's just, it's awesome. Um, and for the five or seven bucks I paid for this, it's been a lifesaver. And I actually use this in conjunction with this next tool uh, a lot because I'm kind of lazy. This is the, the Flex Tail Gear uh, mini pump. So you've got air pump, which you can use to blow up mattresses, but, and it's also got a little uh, lantern, which is pretty cool. Um, but primarily what I've used this for is once you blow up your mattress, you really don't have a need for it, right? But I actually will use this and set it over this and that way I don't have to blow into the fire and I can just turn this on and get constant heat or constant air. And I will tell you what, it, it makes some of the craziest powerful fires. <laughs> it feels like a life hack, I'll tell you. Um, I've used it a lot and people always question it until they see the results and they're just like, they're amazed. It's it's such a, a lazy life hack, but now I can't go back. <laughs> Bending over, getting a smoke in the face while you're trying to blow on a, an ember to start a fire is no more. <laughs> this Just this is awesome, but in the combination of these two, oh, it's it's lazy, lazy backpacking and camping, I'll tell you what, but it's it's amazing. And neither one of these are very expensive. I think this is 30 bucks and this was, like I said, five or seven bucks. Uh, you can get them in a pack of two for 10, 11 bucks. And this actually comes with a bunch of other uh, tips. So depending on your type of mattress, it's got like a wide tip here. Um, it's got a little flexible tip, a narrower tip, so medium tip, and then the extra wide, which I think is for like a thermo and stuff. Um, you just, just essentially 
pop this guy off here. And that's just where your air comes out and this is your intake. So you just don't plug this up and just put the tip here. So if you need to uh, suck out air, you can actually put those on there as well and deflate your mattress. Um, but in most cases, you'll, uh, you'll have this as the configuration because this is where the air comes out of. This is a great little tool. I mean, I, it's been a game changer. The other thing might be a little obvious, um, water filter. I've tried the Sawyer Minis. Um, I've tried the Sawyer Micro. The flow rate on the Sawyer Micro is horrible after just a use. Uh, Sawyer Mini wasn't bad, but I, I let it freeze. And so instead of going back to the Sawyer Mini, I ended up going with the full-size Sawyer. Um, I don't use it all that often because most of the places I go are in my Jeep and I'll just bring a whole bunch of water and just refill. Um, we haven't done a ton of backpacking in a while, so most of the stuff is more overlanding based. Uh, but then I also have the bag for it. But I do have a larger two or three liter um, bag that's not Sawyer Squeeze, but it, do it does work for this. Um, but this is just in here, so I can at least guarantee that I have something. I think that's it, actually. I don't even use this back pouch. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, it's a small and very purpose-built uh, little kit, but it's everything you need. It gives you fire, it gives you water, um, and a couple of extra little comforts. I usually pair that with this which is just a little canvas bag that I have waxed. But inside here, I have a couple of different fire starters. I've got some birch bark, uh, which if you haven't used birch bark is nature's gasoline. And then I have these homemade little uh, cotton discs. So it was a cotton, like a, just a cotton swab or cotton uh, disc soaked in lamp oil. Let it, I let it dry and then I dipped it in old candle wax. So when a candle burns down, you've got that extra wax, you melt it in a pot, kind of doing inside of a water. Um, and then you can dip these in there and it creates this little wax disc. And then when you're ready, you just kind of like break it up, let those fibers start to expose and it lights up very, very fast. And I've got a handful of those in there. Um, and then of course the tried and true cotton balls and Vaseline. So between these two kits, I can absolutely get a fire. <laughs> I don't think I've ever not been able to rain or shine uh, or cold or hot, doesn't matter. With this kit, I can get a fire. I also have some water purification um, and then some, some little creature comforts. But this is kind of my go-to little, little camp kit. Um, doesn't change all that often, but when I find something else I want to add in here, I definitely will. Uh, I like to be able to have systems where I can just grab it and go and not have to repack and unpack a whole bunch. Even when I backpack, I try and stay fairly light, but even when I backpack, I take this. I might add a few things here or there, a little roll of duct tape or something, or maybe an eating utensil, uh, maybe a lighter weight eating utensil, toss it in here, but ultimately it goes with me every, every time I go camping. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything maybe that would be worth adding into this little kit. Um, so yeah, send, give me a comment. If you like this stuff, kind of just subscribe to the channel and I'll be coming out with uh, as many videos as possible as long as I keep enjoying it. All right, see you next time.